Okay, how can you use the bulletin on a device? I use Apple devices, so I, I, I'm sorry if this doesn't apply to Android devices. Hopefully, you'll understand how to do this on your Android, Android device. The first tip that I would suggest to you is that you go to your settings, whichever way is, it works best uh, for you on your device, on the iPad, I can go here and I can adjust the brightness. What I recommend that you do is adjust the brightness down as low as it can go and that you can still read the bulletin, that it, you're not straining your eyes. This is just to help prevent a congregation with a bunch of uh, illuminated faces which is how it would look from our perspective, but that's just a piece of advice. You can take it or leave it. Okay, so we go, I'm gonna to go to my web browser. <clears throat> Our website has been redesigned, by the way, and if you previously had it bookmarked, I've discovered that I had to create a new bookmark. But it's christchurchfitchburg.org. So we go to the new website. Thank you, Paula Cattell, for working feverishly and slavishly to uh, redo this website. I, it, we really are pleased with it. The staff is pleased with it. We hope you like it too. What you need to do is you go up here, see up here at the top, you see home, family ministry, ministries, music, resources. You press on resources and then Second from the bottom, you can see Sunday Bulletin. Press on that. This takes you to, to our Google Doc page, Google Drive page. Uh, you click on the bulletin. What this does, well, first of all, you need to understand that this did not download the bulletin to this iPad. I'm simply looking at it on the website of drivegoogle.com. It's very hard to turn pages when you look at it this way. I need to download it to an app that reads PDFs. In iPad, it's a two-step process. Step one, I come up here to this down arrow. Then I get this. I want to download it to iBooks. To do that, I go up here to this up arrow. And then I, where it says copy to books. And voila. Now I can easily navigate between pages with, it's just really easy. It's much easier for me. The other piece of advice that I will give you is if you want to use a smartphone rather than a tablet, I recommend you, that you look at it in landscape. That's simply so that you can fit more text onto your screen when you're looking at it in a, on a phone, okay? So that's it. That's how you, you download the bulletin. And we hope to see you, more people using it. And apologize for the more lengthy what we mean to say. I hope to see you next week on what we mean to say. Bye.